Hello everybody and welcome back to Trading with CJ. Now one of the most common asked questions is how much do I need to start investing into the stock market? And one of the greatest misconceptions is that you need a lot of money to be able to start. Well that is not true. You can start investing with £10,000, £1,000 or £100. There is no particular rule on how much you need. Invest what you are comfortable starting with. Now of course, the more money you put in, the greater your potential profits will be. But nevertheless, £100 is a great starting point to start your investment journey, getting your foot in the door and getting a taste of the market. There's always money to be made. Now today, I'm going to go through what stocks I would buy with £100. I'm going to go through two different strategies. One will be a safer option and one will be a riskier option. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to go in and invest £100 into one of these options. If you'd like to follow how this portfolio gets on, you can subscribe to my channel and I'll post updates every so often and you can see how this portfolio does over time. Now, before we get into this, I must say that I'm not a financial advisor and everything you see in this video is purely for entertainment purposes. You should always do your own research when investing into the stock market. So, let's get into it. Now, in these two different strategies, each one we're going to have three different picks. So we're going to start with the safer strategy first. And the first stock I want to talk about is one I've spoken about in previous videos, and that is Disney. Now, Disney is a great company, world-renowned, everybody knows Disney. And at the moment, they are down quite a lot. That's because their theme parks are closed, their cruises aren't running, and the films that normally come out of the cinema, the cinemas are closed. So all of that you know, is, is contributing to the fact that they are down quite a lot. As you can see, in the last year, they are down 90% from where they was a year ago, and almost 22% from three months ago. At the moment, they're trading at $109, which I think is a great price to get Disney at. Now, I would actually buy half a share of Disney, which would cost £45 and 4p. Now, not all platforms offer half shares, or as an own, fractional shares. I'm currently using Trading212. If you want to use Trading212, the link is in the description below. There are also other apps out there like Free Trade and eToro and loads of others where you can get fractional shares. This is the only stock on this list that is a fraction of a share. So 0.5 shares of Disney for £45 4p. Up next, now this isn't necessarily a stock, but you can still get it on all trading platforms. It's an ETF and it is the FTSE 100, ticker symbol VUKE. At the moment, it's trading at £25.63p. And you can see in the last year, it was down almost 22%. And in three months, also almost 22%. So it's been pretty consistent throughout the year. And then because of what's going on, it's dropped 22%. What the FTSE 100 is, it is the top 100 companies in the UK all collectively put into this one group. So you're investing in not one, you're investing in 100 companies and the top top ones at that. So it's a great purchase and to be honest, safest one you could probably get in terms of uh, UK ETFs anyway. So I would buy one unit of FTSE 100 for £25.63p. Now, the last one on this list, it was a bit tricky. I had quite a few I wanted to add uh, with the remaining amount. However, I have gone for legal and general ticker symbol LGEN. Legal and General is an insurance company offering general insurance, business insurance, and life insurance. And they're a pretty safe bet, in my opinion. Currently trading at £1.84 per share. And in their last year, they're down 34%. And then the last three months, down 42%. That is a lot. And you can see they have generally been growing throughout the years, and now obviously they have dropped massively. I think this is a safe bet and they're sure to go back up. I would buy 15 shares of Legal and General for £27.76p. Now this portfolio here, this safer strategy, totals to £98.43p. Of course, if you want to get one full share of Disney, you could cut, you could load the shares on either of the others. So that is how I would invest into my safer strategy. I'll put that up there and you can see that investment. Now up next, I'm gonna go through a riskier strategy. So onto the riskier strategy. Now, the first one up is 
probably the most hit sector out of all, and that is the travel industry. And I've gone for a UK airline known as EasyJet. I don't have to go into too much detail of why they've been hit. Their planes aren't flying, basically. So it is down dramatically. In the last year, EasyJet is down almost 49%. And in the last three months, almost 67%. That is massive. Um, they're currently trading at £4.98 a share. I personally think EasyJet will survive for this and will go back up. Maybe not to where they was, but will definitely go up and make a nice profit. So I would buy eight shares of EasyJet for £40 4p. On to my next one. This is a different sector. I've gone for the energy sector. Another sector that has been hit quite a lot as well. First of all, at the moment, there is so much supply of oil and not enough demand. Um, so their sector's been hit and people aren't driving their cars as often, etc. So I've gone for the energy company known as BP. BP are currently trading at £2.96 a share. And in the last year, they are down 46%. And in the last three months, 35%. So that once again, they've just been hit massively. Now, it's a bit tricky to put BP or Shell. They're both great companies. Uh, I've just personally opted for BP here, but I wouldn't have any problems investing in Shell either. So for BP, I've gone for eight shares for £23.86p. Uh, my third and final one for the riskier investment strategy would be uh, in the financial sector again, and that is Barclays, ticker symbol BARC. Barclays are currently trading at 97 and half p roughly and in the last year they're down 39 percent and in the last three months almost 45 percent so once again they've been hit massively i have no doubt that people will start using banks again loans mortgages etc etc barclays in my opinion is my favorite bank it's just probably because it's my actual bank's so personal preference however they are one of the biggest uk banks out there i would buy 36 shares in barclays for £35.24. and p. So that's my riskier investment portfolio. That totals to £99.14p. So there we have it. There's my two different strategies. As you can see in the safer one, we've got world-renowned companies, ETFs, really safe companies in my opinion that have currently been hit and will go back up. And then we've got riskier strategy with industries that have been hit a lot harder. However, they have much more potential for bigger rewards over time. Now, as with the stock market, the, the prices are changing every day, even every minute. So even since recording those stocks that right there, they've probably gone down or up. The market changes all the time. I'm looking at this investment in terms of the future, you know, not next week, not two weeks time, like the future. We'll see how it gets on. So as promised, I'm actually going to go in right now and buy one of these investment strategies. And now I've actually opted to buy the riskier strategy. Uh, I'm just going to show you on the screen now what I'm going to buy these for. So EasyJet, I'll buy eight shares. BP, I'll buy eight shares. And Barclays, uh, managed to buy, I managed to buy 37 shares. And the price is, and is all on the screen right there. Total to £99.84. Uh, you do get charged a small stamp duty with buying UK stocks. That's just a tax on the stocks, not necessarily on the platform, which comes to 49p. So my actual amount invested in the end was £99.37. That's pretty much as close to 100 as I'm going to get that. So this is my £100 portfolio. Now, if you'd like to keep up to date and see how this portfolio gets on over time, please subscribe to this channel. Please like the video. Also, leave some comments. What are you, what are you investing in, etc. That would be great to know as well. Uh, like I say, these stocks mentioned in this video, they're not necessarily recommendations. They're just my personal picks. You should always do your own research when investing into the stock market. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to start investing as well, there's a link in the description below. That is to a free share worth up to £100. Another great start to your investment journey. Please subscribe to this channel, follow this uh, £100 portfolio. And until next time, 